so it's been cold out and unfortunately today we can't get wood chips for our chicken coop so what we're gonna do is go gather some pine boughs and use them for bedding in our chicken coop uh, for some of you just tuning in pine boughs are really good for your chicken coop and they cut down the smell of ammonia if you're doing deep bedding here in PEI it gets cold really early in the year so in the winter I mean so having deep bedding started the end of October first of November um, can save your chickens for the winter uh, basically it's meaning they're not gonna freeze to death the amount the manure from bedding and from their poop <laughs> will keep heat in the coop by adding more bedding and piling it up. Uh, that's gonna extend. We won't clean the coop until the end of March, 1st of April. Uh, but we can't always get wood shavings, say on a Saturday or a Sunday when we need them. So we have to figure out plans to deep bed, but be able to keep the ammonia smell down. Plus with pine boughs, it gives the chickens a nice little treat too. So on our property, something we do have an abundance of is pine trees. Um, they are all around us. And I'm not gonna cut down a bunch of trees. Let's just get that out of the way right now. We're just taking the boughs off, probably about 25 um, separate trees. So it doesn't hurt the trees. The trees still live properly. They still have lots of life in them. They'll grow these boughs back. And it won't hurt the trees at all. Let's do there, okay? Brendan's gonna help me film today. So I'm gonna take the sleigh. Move, honey. Move, honey. Do I walk off this? Just stay in one place. Yeah, I just got thorns, but, but I did it on pause. So oh, here's one of the trees that a big poplar fell on. So it's actually killing the tree. So I'm gonna try and cut as much off this tree as possible. Um, and then I have a nice pine in behind. So I'm gonna try and utilize this tree as much as possible, get as much as I can off of it. Cause the tree's gonna die anyways. It's completely down. Um, this show you, it's completely down. This tree, big poplar just took it right out, the poor thing. So I'm gonna clear cut this tree as much as po possible for a chicken coop. You wanna yeah. try cutting some? Yeah. All right, you gotta be very careful with the snips, okay? Snips. Look, see the guard on the snips? Yeah. You wanna go in? Oh, I'm doing this backwards the way that I usually do it. Make sure the guard's on the bottom. And just do it like that, okay? So you be very careful because those are really, really sharp. Can you take this somewhere? I'll just hold it. And go to a tree that has a lot of bushery on it. Do so I get in, Molly? get in here, and cut what you can. Cut all the thin ones because those are going to be the these easy thins. ones for you. These are thin. Those are all the little plucks, all like these. Yeah. Cut those. Don't cut my finger. Oh. <laughs> what you can do is just let them fall on the ground and then pick them up when you're done. Okay? Okay. Yep, just like that. 
I'm using it with two hands because it's too... It's stiff, yeah. Look at that one right down there. Yeah. You can cut that whole thing. You can cut that whole thing. Like this? Yep. I'll hold it. There you go. Mm. Here, go in. See where it's thick in there where mommy's pointing? Go in there. And... I'm trying to get in. Yeah. Oh. That's two. Over on the other side. Mia's up a tree. These are oh my goodness, Mia. Mia is up a tree. <laughs> Mia, what are you doing? Silly girl. That one. The long one. Cool. So you'll see that I started my deep bedding in here. Um, so. By the end of today, this whole floor will be a layer of pine. Um, I have some thrown over there, but this whole floor will be done. I got right here done and under the roofs. Um, so then we can uh, have a nice dry layer for them. And it gives them a treat. As you can see they're already packing out the leaves and stuff that's in there. It's a natural warmer. Um, and it's also great for keeping them warm. Um, it cuts down the smell of ammonia in here because with de deep bedding, you will get a strong sense of ammonia if you're not on top of it. Um, if you're not constantly putting fresh bedding down. Um, like I said, we're in the midst of not being able to get bedding right now because it's a weekend. Uh, so we are doing some pine for a change. Give them some Christmas decor in here, guys. You get some Christmas decor. But it's for their own benefit. It's for health benefit, it's for warming. It's just really good for them. Um, so we're gonna continue doing this. And I'm gonna grab the eggs that are underneath. We're gonna go get another bucket full. And we gotta do another bucket for a friend's coop. So that's our plan today. So I lost my help. It's starting to get dark. Um, it's only 4.30 in the afternoon. It's already starting to get dark out. So I'm just finishing up the chicken coop, putting all the uh, pine down on it. So it's nice and smells good. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I've done. So this is what I've done. And you'll see I got a nice layer along the whole chicken coop. And I only got that one spot right there. Um, don't mind the flipped over water bottles. The birds just tend to flip them over on me. So just wherever it's got holes now. And right here where there's a big hole. <laughs> is what I'm finishing up. So just a whole layer of pine. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be great. It's just gonna do its purpose. Get them up off the floor. Watch out, baby. Ouch. There, I got the whole floor. Pine. Yeah, I got pine needles stuck in my hand. But the whole floor does have pine. I'm now going to go get them some fresh water. Um, so they have fresh water for the night. Let's see if there's any eggs under there. There is not. You flipped your water. These guys flipped their water like every five minutes. So I'm going to have to get a, something different to. I hear a cat. I think Mia's stuck in a tree. I'm gonna have to go help her. Um, I'm gonna have to get something that hangs to keep their water from getting flipped over. But I think I gotta go rescue Mia. No rescue is required. She found her own way down. Hey Mia! So yeah, that's 
putting a layer of pine down in my coop for deep bedding for the winter. It serves a few different purposes. It serves for, ooh, that snow in the face hurts. Um, it serves purposes for warming, for a snack for them, to keep the ammonia smell down, and put a layer of bedding down for them. So I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for more guys.